Welcome. This video will show you how to set up the device to work as a phase detector in a free phase electrics power system. Open the input configuration window. Set inputs 4, 5 and 6 to buy stable plus click. Normally, if you plan to use the device as a phase detector, the inputs should be set to monostable so their status is not accidentally changed using the software. However, for the purpose of this video, it is better that they are set to bistable. Next, choose the x variable you want to use and set the logic function. We will choose x4 and set the logic function to INP4 and 5 and 6. Save the configuration and exit the window. Let's see what happens. When you switch on all three inputs, the X4 variable becomes active. When you turn off one of the inputs, which imitates one of the phases disappearing, the X4 variable becomes inactive. However, this setup is very sensitive as it reacts immediately to the phase disappearing. You could make it less sensitive if you like. Enter the input configuration window again. Set the time to off for inputs 4 to 6 to 5 seconds. Of course you can set this time accordingly to your needs, but for the purpose of this video we want to keep it short. Save the configuration and exit the window. Now, when you switch off one or more of the inputs, the X4 variable will not react for 5 seconds. Only after those 5 seconds are gone, the, bar the variable becomes inactive. If you switch the inputs on again before the 5 seconds are gone, the variable will not become inactive at all. Let's also add the time to on. This will delay the variable's reaction to the face appearing again. Enter the input configuration window. Set the time to on for inputs 4 to 6 to 5 seconds. Save the configuration and exit the window. These delays are useful as during periods of power outages, the power sometimes appears and disappears for, sh for just a short moment, and you do not want the device to react to this. You want it to react only if the power is gone for or back for a longer period of time. Now let's see how this works. As you can see, there is a delay after all three phases are on and after one of them disappears. Next, let's set one of the outputs as an alarm reacting to the disappearance of the X4 variable. Open the output configuration window. Set the signal function for a chosen variable, let's say Y4, to not X4. Also, change the type from NO to NO1Hz. This means that the relay will be pulsating. Save the configuration and exit this window. Turn off one of the inputs and see what happens. The device waits for 5 seconds and then the REL4 button starts to blink. 
That is a signal for us that something is wrong with electricity. The REL button switches off automatically after the signal from the input is back. Now, if you want to make sure that somebody actually attends to the problem that has occurred, you can set up addi an additional switch that needs to be pressed for the alarm to turn off. First, enter the input configuration window. Pick one of the three inputs, like input 3 in this example, and set its mode of operation to monostable plus click. The logic function needs to correspond that to that input. You can also set a time to off if you want to see more clear clearly what happens. Save and exit. Now enter the output configuration window. Click on the latch checkbox for the Y4 variable. When this box is checked, the variable once activated will stay active until it is reset. Therefore, use the X3 as the reset signal. Save and exit this window. See what happens. At first, all three phases are working. Now turn them off and back on. As you can see, the relay is still pulsating. To stop this, use the reset button you just set up. Click the INP3 input. The pulsation has stopped. This means that the reset button was pressed, so the malfunction must have been noticed and attended to. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.